Now, what happened to San Francisco, New York, and L.A. last week? And uh, all of them had disrupted power grids. Not the whole cities, but sections of their city. Now, what that could have been is something else that we should be aware of. It could have been a cyber attack. It could have been somebody hacking into those systems. We know people are trying every single day, many times a day, sometimes a thousand times a day to get into our electrical grid systems. Uh, they're trying to get into everything they can. We're doing the same to them. Guess what? So somebody could have gotten in. Somebody could have found a way in and hit us. You know, it's never been explained what it was. Let me tell you what I think it was, though, that was more likely than that. Even though we've got people trying to do that to us all the time. Remember last week, if you read the news that, or the week before about these incredible, this incredible hole in our sun, which looks like a hole, but it was really a massive storm emitting incredible, uh, showering us with these, you know, radiation and powerful radiation surges that are electric magnetic pulses, electromagnetic pulses. You know, if our country got hit with one from the sun, like the one that hit the eastern coast of the U.S. and Canada in 1860, it would probably shut down our entire grid, electrical grid. That came from the sun, no enemy from the sun. Now, we didn't have an electrical grid in 1860. What we did have, it was seriously damaged. We understood the power of this. So, uh, you know, the threat from EMP is can be from natural sources. And I believe we're being protected. I do believe God is watching out for us. We would have been hit, you know, destroyed long ago by, you know, all kinds of things that are flying around in space any which of any one of which could have wiped us out. It seems like every day we survive them. It's you know, how do we make it through another day if we weren't being kept? We're being kept. I don't think the Lord is going to let the sun do that to us right now. But I think he sent a little warning. To me, that just highlighted the warning how vulnerable we are to the electromagnetic pulse. 